are back, and I am sitting here with Tom Widener with Wharton Smith, who I haven't seen in quite a while. Hi, Tom. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. So I haven't seen you in a while. Tell me your position. I'm sure you've probably moved up the ladder a little bit since I talked to you last. A little bit. Just what do you do at a Wharton? project executive with Wharton Smith. I specialize in the K-12, the schoolwork. Yep. Uh, you know, 20 years of doing that. So uh, school work has been good for us, and uh, I've enjoyed it. So try to help all the teams uh, building schools for our communities. Yep, you guys are the masters at it. Like you've been doing it Thank so you. long, I'm sure it's just sort of uh, second nature for you at this point. Well, uh, we are big fans of Wharton Smith because Wharton Smith has always been a good supporter of NAWIC, Orlando especially, our local chapter. We've had several people that have worked for Wharton, and then they come in to be members. So. Uh, and I'm a big fan of Wharton anyway, because I've done business with you guys in the past. So what do you think about the expo this year? A lot of people here, huh? A lot of people. It's great to be back. Uh, you know, COVID kind of slowed a lot of this uh, social activity down, but yeah. it's good to be back. I love being in person and seeing everybody. It's a great industry to be a part of. So. Yeah, it, it really is. What are you seeing uh, as far as women in construction? Because that's really our podcast. We have a national podcast. Uh, Build, Lead, Succeed is the name of it. And our whole thing is to have conversations not only with women in the industry, but the men that support them. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been a big supporter in the past. Yes. So what are you seeing at Wharton Smith? Are you seeing more women coming into the industry? We are. You know, we've always been open and uh, have always had women in leadership at Wharton Smith. And so uh, we, uh, we don't discriminate. We appreciate their input, and they do a great job for us. So... Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. If they do a good job, then we want them on our team. That's right. Right person for the job. That's right. Right? Yeah, I feel that way as well. Um, when I came on as project manager of my company, they were very progressive. They have four women in the field, tradeswomen, and they're kicking butt. And I, they're on my job, so I love going out there yeah. every day. It's a big source of pride, and, you know, they're out there doing their thing. It's not about men and women, no, right? It's it not. is. And everybody it's not works side by job. side. Yeah. Yep. And, and a lot of times with, uh, with NAWIC, you know, that's a lot of what we do is try to help women find their voice and realize that they can go out there and be shoulder to shoulder. Right. You need the skills? We'll help you find the skills. Right. So Definitely. I think that's awesome. So uh, what do you see for Wharton Smith here in the next 10 years? Well, we're always a, a company looking for growth and opportunities for growth. You know, we really focus on our, uh, our people, our employees, and uh, looking for good opportunities for them to grow. You know, it's a great state to live in, the state of Florida, and there is a lot of opportunity for us. And so, um, really, the, the next area that I think we're going to be growing is, is up in the Jacksonville area, because really? there's a lot of growth opportunities up there. Um, we're already in South Florida, over in Jupiter. We work in Tampa, Orlando. We're actually in the Panhandle. We have an office that we recently opened up in Pensacola. Nice. And so, uh, you know, for us, it's a lot of investing in our employees. And whenever they step up, give them that opportunity to be able to uh, go up the ladder just like I did and give them the opportunity to, to shine. Yeah. When you started, what did you do when you started in I was actually a CAD guy at Wharton Smith uh, initially. Uh, I have a little bit of background. My dad was a general contractor, small general contractor. He did it part-time. He was actually an educator that he retired from Orange County Public Schools. But we did small projects, and so I had a little bit of background with that. But then ultimately, I came to work at Smith. Uh, I knew how to detail pipe, duct iron pipe. And so I did that for three years before jumping over into our commercial department on an Orange County Public School project. So I've been over there 21 years and uh, working <laughs> Can't on get Orange County. No, working on Orange County Public Schools. And awesome. So I've uh, been able to work up the ladder and see it through all those many years. It's been a good, great, actually a great career for me. Great company. For me, so. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I really appreciate you taking a minute and coming over and talking to no us. No problem. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. And uh, enjoy the rest of the expo. All right. Thank you very much. All right.